Hello friends, uh, this is Vikram and in this video, I am going to show how we can create the bucket into the Google Cloud that I have already covered it into the part one of this video. This is a continuation of the same. In this part, we are going to learn how we can connect this MySQL database, which is installed into the Google Cloud as you can see in my Google Cloud, I have created one MySQL instance that is known as MySQL database one. And I need to connect this or I need to access this from my Windows machine through any of the client. So how we can access that? We need to learn into this way. Okay. So before starting, if you have not subscribed my channel, please subscribe it so that you can be able to know about more videos on data engineering topic with respect to Google Cloud. Okay, so let's start. So as you can see, the MySQL database is already running by this green button. You can see the tick mark and it is saying it is already running. Okay, now we need to connect this from my Windows machine. So how we can do it? So we can make use of any of the client to access this MySQL. Either we can make use of the SQL Workbench or we can make use of the VS Code Editor through that we can access it. We have the multiple way. Any of the way we can just make it to access this MySQL database, okay? So how we can do it? To access it, first of all in the VS Code, it is not straightforward to access any database. First, we need to click on these extensions and we need to download any extension. So what extension you can download it? You can download n number of the extensions if you type MySQL and you can see these are the different different extensions. But with which one you have to choose? So you can choose this like the MySQL tool. Okay, this or we have some other SQL server connectors at the client which we can make use so in my case i had used one of the plugin or extension that i'll be showing you okay so how we can be able to check which one i have used let me remove this one and in this installed section if you scroll down further we will see this option sql server client and it can be worked with the MySQL along with the MariaDB, both. And Postgres, SQLite, Redis, Elasticsearch, a lot of the database it is supporting. It's very easy and simple plugin. So what we can do, we can simply, in my case, it is already installed. If you are not installed, you can search for this plugin by this Venzin chain. And there may be the button to install it. You can click on that. And once you install this one, okay, in your VS code, you can be able to see one sign like this one database. You can see here database. Now you can click over here. Okay. And this is my the another configurations what I was just trying to access my database. Okay. So how we can see right now, let me expand this one. And we can see it is saying connection timed out. Okay. So how we can add a new connection to this one? Click on this plus icon. Okay, and this is the page UI interface you will get to check whether you are able to connect to any of the database or not. Okay, so let's quickly go to the MySQL database and click on this database. And in this page, you can be able to see the information about your MySQL database. And this is the public IP through which we can able to access this. Let me copy this public IP. Okay. Come over here and replace this post with that public IP. Now, by default port 3306, I had not modified. So I'll make use of the same. Username is also same. Root and it is asking the password. So you need to give the password, whatever you have given at the time of the installation. Okay. So in my case, I have given the password. So I had entered this. Now what I can do, I had to give one meaningful name 
so i can give over here the connection name like the cloud sql okay and when i am clicking on this connect let's see what we are getting we are getting connection timed out a timed out okay because if you see the further logs it will be able to show you the message that there is uh, connection is not going to be established from this client to the mysql database to fix this problem what we have to do we have to go to this mysql and here you will find the menu options that is known as connections so we need to click on this connections tab and as we are already accessing it using the public IP, we need to come down over here and we need to see this button add network. Click on this one and we need to provide the IP from where we can access it. So either we can provide my current IP that I can be able to find it from the what is my IP address on the browser and that I can be provided over here. Most of the times, if it is working, it's fine. Otherwise, we need to whitelist this one. So what we do, we can provide one IP that can able to connect with the any of the source. Okay, so you can give any name, name over here. So I'm giving the network name at the home. You can give your name, any name. And in the IP sections, you need to provide this IP. Okay, so by this, what we are doing, we have we are going to add this to network and by this we will allow the firewall to just simply access this database which is present into the cloud okay so what we can do we can give this whitelisted uh, setting and then click on done and once we are done we need to click on this save it will take few seconds to get it saved and you can see the progress of this and it is saying that i'm just editing my database that is the database which we are going to connect i'll pause for a second and we'll resume once we are able to do this editing option now you can see the edit options is successful by this green mark now what we can do we will test it again whether i am able to connect this database after whitelisting or not so we'll come to this page again no need to change anything simply we need to click on connect now once you click on connect you can see it is just giving you the message successful connection and here you can see the available databases okay now to check the functionality how we are able to work perfectly or not so either we can create some database from here or from the cloud and then we can just see whether it is reflecting or not okay so i'll come to this and here in the overview section first of all i'll just see i'm at the correct database or not so yes this is my current data my sql installation now i will click on this databases and I will come to this page these are the by default port databases which is coming into the mysql and the same we can see over here okay from this page we will click on this create database i will give any name uh, i can give the name of the database one no need to change anything over here leave everything as click on create So we can see it is giving us the message that database created. Okay, click on this and you can see this is the name database one. The same thing when you come to your VS code, you have to simply reload this configuration, click on this and now you can see it is also saying the same. So we are successfully able to connect this database one. Okay, so this is how we can connect the cloud sql database from any of the client into the windows machine thank you thank you for watching this one we'll meet you into the next video